Finally, pistons have come to MCPE, and I made this really awesome doorway. Hey, what's up my fellow twisters? Welcome to another redstone tutorial. We are finally back in MCPE after a really long time and that's mainly because the update came out. 0.15.0 is here along with pistons and I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. The last 10 minutes I've already come up with three different redstone creations but today we are going to check out a T flip flop piston door that's super easy to build and would be one of the first things you guys should be creating with these awesome new features anyways guys so let's go ahead and get started now if you want to see all of those other redstone creations and future things definitely subscribe to my channel but anyways like i was saying we have ourselves our t flip flop piston door if you guys don't know what a t flip flop is it's basically a button that acts like a lever now let's go ahead and check this out by simply hitting that button boom there we go our door opens just like that super cool and now we can come on over to the other side hit this button and then it closes so that's basically what a t flip flop means normally people would put pressure plates over here for it to open automatically and whatnot but i like a t flip flop because it gives you a lot of control to open and close the door and also maybe add in locks in the future so that's basically what we're going to be creating today guys so let's begin so to get started i'm going to mark out the area for my doorway this has to be a one by two area so simply place on two blocks like that on the floor and then count one two three blocks back place on a block right over here and a block on top of that count three more blocks on this side one two three and then place down two blocks over here as well grab yourself some sticky pistons place it facing towards the center just like that on the left and right hand side once you have that, you want to go ahead and place down blocks of your choice on the face of these pistons. And it cannot be obsidian or bedrock because obsidian and bedrock cannot be pushed by pistons. Now, once you have that configuration all set up, you want to go ahead and destroy the top block on either ends of these, just like that. Grab yourself some redstone dust, place it down on top of these blocks. And then what? once we have that, we want to go ahead and dig out some blocks at the bottom right over here. Dig out the blocks at the bottom of this block with the redstone dust on top. Place down a block right over here and then a redstone torch right on top of that it should power our redstone dust on top of this block activating both of our pistons now we simply do the same thing on the other side yet again dig down a couple blocks over here and place on a block over here with a redstone torch on top of that it's going to power this block then power that bit of redstone dust on top and then create a uh, pulse to basically activate our pistons on the left hand side so I dug out a pretty big area around our door Doorway. You don't really need to do this. I am simply doing it so you guys could see everything that is happening a bit clearer. All right, so now let's go ahead and continue building up the structure. Now, the next thing you want to do is come below our piston blocks just like this and destroy all of the blocks beneath it in order to add in some redstone. So just destroy all the blocks over here just like that. And once we have this area now clear, we want to grab ourselves some redstone repeaters, place one going into this block, then place another one going into that block, then place down redstone dust all along here, except for this one spot. So this spot could be either on this side or on that side, but I just put it over here. Once we have that, we want to go ahead and place down a redstone torch in this hole, and then place down a sticky piston two blocks away from that hole facing towards it so just like that as you can see it's going to be actually one block away from the hole facing towards it with that redstone torch on the face of those side blocks and pretty much what happens is when we place down a block over here and then add a signal to this piston as you can see it pushes that block over that redstone torch adding in redstone power onto those repeaters and it will then open up our door so that's basically what we're trying to do here and I'm trying to explain it because I know some of you are probably new to pistons and possibly new to redstone. Either way let's go ahead and now create our T flip flop. This is really simple to create. All we need to do is go ahead and grab ourselves a dropper, place it facing this way and this configuration like opposite of our pistons and then two blocks apart from it. 
And once we have that, we want to go ahead and place down a dropper facing up right in front of that dropper. Then we come around this side, place a dropper right on top of the dropper facing up, but this time face it towards this direction. And finally grab ourselves a hopper and shift and basically place a hopper going into this dropper that we first placed down. And what I mean by shift is of course crouch and I'm used to PC, that's mainly why I said it. Then we need to place down a redstone comparator coming out of this dropper going into a redstone repeater, and then going into that sticky piston. And that's basically going to be our T-flip flop. To configure this, you simply place down a uh, item into this bottom dropper right over here. And then once we apply a signal to this bottom dropper, it should create that T-flip flop. Now, in order to add in your buttons, you would simply just place down a redstone repeater going into this block just like that, or in any direction you choose, and then place down some redstone dust at the back, place down a block over here, a block over there or anywhere on the map then grab yourselves a button so let's just go ahead and do that where is our buttons i believe it's all the way down here place down a button over here for our opening and for our closing or the inside and outside hit this button over there and boom the doorway opens and then hit this button over there and boom the doorway close it doesn't really matter which one you hit the, the t flip flop works at any um you know button that's you know, the whole purpose of a T-flip flop. And as you can see, it basically keeps it on. We hit the button again and it keeps it off. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Hopefully I explained it correctly. The only thing left to do is of course, add in these buttons to anywhere on your map. And to do that, you basically extend the redstone and whatnot, as well as just cover up the map. And you would do that by just extending the floor. Everything is built at a pretty good level. So anyways, guys, that basically wraps up today's redstone tutorial. If you want to see more redstone tutorials, be sure to smack the like button leave a comment down below and subscribe to this channel because this channel is one of the most popular redstone channels so you can trust that i will bring you the best redstone content anyways this was twist and i'll see you all next time